want to thank all of you once again. And um, our welcome address is emphasizing on sign language. And then we are asking what. Is it that still the people are complaining about sign language, our official language? Today, some of us here who understand the reason why we are conversing for the use of sign language. And in the course of my presentations, I let you know the reason why we want you to learn the sign language. Before I start my presentation, I would like to start with this. Uh, Meanwhile, Mr. Chairman, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the press, Fellow members of GMD, on behalf of the Ghana National Association of the Deaf and Federation, I would like to thank all of you for honoring our invitation to come to this year IDD. I wish to remind all of you once again that our this year's theme is breaking barriers, open doors, and uh, for an inclusive society for all. This team, when implemented well, will give an excellent opportunity for all, including persons with disabilities, and eventually pave the way for the concerns of PWDs to be seriously factored in national planning. Mr. Chairman, it is interesting to note that about 80% of PWBs are deprived access to quality healthcare and higher education and employment that is life-sustaining and political participation. Deaf people are most affected because they lack access to information and communication. There is the utmost need to include sign language interpretation in program for the deaf people to benefit. Chairman, to help encourage discrimination free society, an all-inclusive one, I would like to call on all of us to focus on the sign language which society has made it a burden causing the deaf people to suffer double discrimination in life. Right from infants and families to national level, in fact, Deaf people go through struggle in order to get access to their God-given rights. Our rights have been abused by parents, guardians, community leaders, religious leaders, Ghanaian citizens as a whole. I'd like to repeat again in a society that is causing the deaf to suffer in their daily life because of the communication barrier. Deaf people must have equal access to fully enjoy their rights in an inclusive society. For the deaf people to have equal access to information communication there must be effective sign language, 
implementation to effective participation. Parents, guardians, and siblings, churches, and religious leaders, assembly members, civil servants, and other service providers, such as the police and other security agencies, lawyers, healthcare staff, and politicians, must make it a duty to learn sign language be able to communicate. GNAD is ever ready to teach whoever is interested. Let me uh, emphasize on few things. Uh, if we are saying that we are depriving the people to access to communication information, you know that everybody has a right to join any religious set of his choice. And now, if a Muslim wants his child to go to a Muslim set and they refuse to do that, they are being punished. But then, if they have some other interpreters, okay, they will worship with them. But because they don't have some with interpreters, they choose to go to where they will get uh, interpretation services. There's the need of the deaf people in Ghana to be considered in planning and implementation of national agenda. The national budget which was read to the parliament recently was without sign language interpretation. Almost all the national media houses telecasted it live, but we, the deaf, did not benefit from the budget. The nation has rejected the minority deaf people. This theory shows that there's lack of political will to all the number of promises made by the government in ensuring inclusiveness. Mr. Chairman, during general elections, the political parties and the electoral commission tried to use interpreters to sell manifestos to us to gain our heart to vote for them. And when they come into power, they don't mind us again. We are almost 2% of the national population and we will show our displeasure by boycotting future elections. Mr. Chairman, I would like to quote from Article 21 of the UN Convention of Rights of Persons with Disability. That mention freedom of expression and opinion and access to information. The article gives opportunity for United Nations countries, including our mother Ghana, to recognize sign language. Here, I would like to state some examples of recognition of sign language. In Sweden, the parliament decision I'm quoting says that deaf have to be fluent in their visual gestural sign language and the language that society surround them with. Then in Britain, Government says that sign language should be recognized as an official language of the deaf. Then in Italy, Council of Valley the Association of 
2006 stated Italian sign language is recognized as a language. The recognition gives hope to individuals who learn sign language to be served as employees. Chairman, I would like to end my speech by requesting the general public to know the following. Communication is an essential factor for all mankind. And sign language is the only language of the deaf and needs to be recognized as the official language for the deaf in Ghana. The government has to help NAB to create sign language center for training interpreters. Full-time sign language interpreters and disability support staff in two hospitals. Recognize the employment skills of the deaf people and other PWDs in Ghana and involve the deaf people and other disabled in the decision making process. It is the hope of the GFV and the deaf community that we all join hands to remove the societal barriers for deaf people and other PWDs in general to enjoy their God-given right, thereby ensuring full Ghanaian society. Thank you.